so name of the reading is exotic options let's look at the learning outcomes exotic derivatives and plain vanilla derivatives what is the difference factors that drive development of exotic products why do we really need exotic derivatives to any derivative can be converted into zero cost product then standard american options which can be transformed into non standard american options and then this is the main learning outcome where we would be looking at all these uh, exotic options and then you would be required to remember what is what you would be required to remember the exact characteristics of each of the option and you might be required to also do certain calculations on some of these options so we'll do one example of each one of them and then the last learning outcome where we compare volatility versus variance stocks first one first one first learning outcome requires us to compare the exotic derivative versus the plain vanilla derivative so think of it this way if you have a standard american call option american call option if you have a standard american call option what that call option tells you is that if this is day 0 and let's say this is year 1 and if this is the expiry then at any point of time between this period you can exercise your options you can exercise here or here or here or here and then you would have a right to buy but what if you start adding certain more features to it for example what if you do not define this as a call option at inception and you add a condition saying that for the first 6 months which is 0.5 a user will not decide which option is this going to be but after the first half of the year on that particular day the user will decide whether it's a call option or it's a put option so if you add this exotic feature and then the option becomes a chooser option or if you add some more you know fanciness to the option where you say if you exercise within this period then the strike price would be 30 but if you exercise in this period then the strike price might be 40 but if you exercise in this period the strike price might be 50 right so if you add some more features again it becomes an exotic options or you might add also something like this so now you might say that there are two strike prices strike 1 and strike 2 let us say 100 120 if the spot price goes to 130 you will have a profit of 30 because you would consider the original strike price of 100 call option but if the strike price ends up in 110 then the payoff would be zero that means you have a original strike price and then you also set a barrier level that it should cross above 120 so when you add all these exotic features to a simple plain vanilla derivative all these derivative products are referred to as the exotic derivatives and of course they have in the curriculum garp has listed or in the john hull book he has listed all the exotic type of options but if you come up with some idea where you say i would create a derivative like this and if you have a client who's willing to buy you can yourself create multiple exotic derivatives so we'll look at some of the samples today exotic derivatives are customized to fit a specific firm's need next learning outcome what are the factors that drive development of exotic products so number one main purpose of development of exotic products is to create a unique hedge for the firm's underlying asset okay so a firm is ended up into a unique situation you want you want to help them create a hedge so you can create a product in such a way that that perfectly satisfies the hedging requirement we would call this as a exotic product then there are some additional reasons they have quoted number one addressing tax and regulatory concerns and number two provide speculation opportunity speculating on the future direction of market prices अभी ओके okay?